Wolfpack, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. What I have here is a very grumpy stove. This is the Safada Grumpy Wood Burning Stove. This is one of these collapsible wood stoves that you piece together. There are a lot of companies who make a version of this, and this is one of Savada's versions. Now, in the past, I reviewed the Happy Stove. This is the Grumpy version. Come on everyone, let's take a look at it. This is the storage bag that the stove comes in. This is 1000D Kedora, and it features a polyurethane coating that makes it highly water resistant. This is the bottom ash plate, two pot supports, and the four body pieces. Can you tell why this is a grumpy stove? That is so funny. To put this stove together, you take the grumpy side, you put that down. You slide the body components together. Just like so. Then you take the ash plate. You put that into socket. Then you move on to the grumpy face. And there you go. Then you can take your pot supports and put these on top. As this water is coming to a boil, let's go over some stats real quick. When it comes to the weight of this stove, you're looking at 10 ounces even with the little bag, the storage carry bag. This is a stainless steel product and each of the panels are half a millimeter thick. The stove stands five and a half inches tall and it's five and a half inches wide with the pot supports. When it's all folded up, six and a quarter inches by six inches. If you take a look at Savada's website, the first thing that you will see about this stove is welcome to the dark side of Savada, or should I say the grumpy side? And that is accurate. This is the grumpy stove. And I like this. I like the fact that Savada has taken these collapsible stoves and added a little bit of personality to it. They're pretty cool. There are many versions of this. I think there's three, but there could even be four. There's the happy, the grumpy, and the big and bad stove, which is a very large version. In the future, I will show off the big and bad. I've already done a review on the happy. Without a doubt, this is a high quality stove from Savada. Savada makes very good gear. They make backpacks, they make tents, they make stoves and all sorts of pouches and whatnot and many other products. This is a company that I discovered a few years ago and I highly respect them. Their prices, in my opinion, for the most part, are fair. You could definitely find cheaper, less expensive products, but the quality of Savada is above most others. And this is especially true with their military backpacks, which I really like. With this stove here, let's go ahead and jump to the pros. First off, it is very easy to set up. For an inexperienced user, it may give you just a little bit of trouble, but once you get it figured out, it's very easy. You can set this up in less than a minute. For an experienced user, in absolutely no time, you will have this thing going, you'll have your fire, and when it comes to it being efficient, it's very efficient and it will work with any size pot, cup, pan, and so on. The design of the stove is excellent. It's right up there with the best of the best from any company. It goes together, it stays together. You can move this thing around by picking up just one side and it doesn't fall apart like with some other stoves. Talking about design here for a second, this is an area where a lot of companies have problems, especially when it comes to these collapsible stoves. They are not all created equal. Some have very bad designs. Luckily, the design of this one is very good. You will find some of these stoves, which are very inexpensive, that simply will not stay together. If you touch them, you bump them, you try to move them, they will simply fall apart. They are major pieces of junk. And yes, they cost quite a bit less than this one, but the quality with this one is a lot better. The design is much better and the efficiency is much better. I like the fact that this stove comes with the pot supports. They are needed. That way you can use any size pot, any size pan, and so on. And you also have that lift above the body of the stove. So you have oxygen that's able to come into the stove, fuel your fire. The fire has a way to escape and 
basically go all the way around your pot and that's what you need for a good quick boil and also a good even cook. This stove is lightweight. It packs down very small, it's very compact. You put this in your backpack, you're not going to notice it. The overall size of this stove, in my opinion, is excellent. It's not too big, it's not too small. Two people can use this easily, and the truth is, even more could as well. Because of the size, you have a good size fuel chamber, and it can hold some very good sized pieces of wood, and this translates to a longer burn and also a hotter burn. So speaking of which, you can boil water in this thing in no time at all. The last wood stove that I took a look at from Lexida, you could feed that stove for an hour and not get your water to boil because it was so inefficient. I recommend that you check out that review. I do not recommend that stove, but this one here, I do recommend. Moving over to the cons now, I have to say that this is not a complicated stove to put together, but for inexperienced users of these type of stoves, they can be a little bit confusing. Watch my video, you should be able to see how I put this together pretty easily. Once you've done this once or twice, you've got it. It's easy from that point on. This is a pricey little stove. This runs right around $44, and for a collapsible wood stove, that is a little bit pricey. There are companies who charge more. There are a ton of companies, namely from China, which charge a whole lot less. So with this one, I'm going to give it a pass, even though the price is high, because the quality is so good, the stove is so efficient, it will burn everything to ash, it cools down quickly. This stove has a lot going for it, and the quality's there, and in the end, I think it's worth the money. But do keep in mind that you can find less expensive wood-burning stoves out on the market. Check my channel, I have a playlist for stoves, where I have reviewed many good wood-burning stoves. Another con to these type of stoves is that they are messy, they are dirty, Using this, you will get your hands dirty. Your pots will get dirty. If you want to burn wood, that's a side effect. Another con for a stove like this is that you really have to pay attention to it. You have to feed it. It takes time to prepare. You have to have the dry materials. And these are all aspects that you really have to just keep in mind before purchasing and using one of these stoves. You also need to check with local regulations to see if you can even use a stove like this in your area. In some parts of the United States, you cannot use them. I've heard that in some places overseas, like in Europe, you have to use a fireproof ground mat to use a stove like this. So again, make sure to check local laws and regulations before heading out with a stove like this. So folks, that is the grumpy stove from Savada. What do you all think about this? And what do you all think about the company Savada? I've reviewed many of their products and I have to say that I do respect them quite a bit. The quality is always very good. The prices, in my opinion, are fair, especially for the quality. That's important. There are less expensive stoves out there and I wanna hear from you all. What wood burning stove would you recommend to a member of our community? What would you recommend? Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts, because I appreciate it, and so will everyone else. Before I sound off Wolfpack, if you have a stove recommendation for me to review, sound off in the comment section down below, and I will check it out. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. See ya.